I have Jeff Robinson with me, a member of the board of Beyond the Bridges. His story serves as an example of how Beyond the Bridges touches lives in the name of Christ's gospel and provides one-on-one -on -one mentoring to empower new life. Even in prison, it is an account of personal redemption. Jeff, could you tell our audience your story? Sure, William. From my childhood, I was acquainted with Christian messages. But as a teenager, I found other things that attracted me. I was prideful, scornful of anyone who questioned the way I lived my life. So I made my choices my own way. But those choices set me on the path that nearly destroyed my life. I earnestly wish I could go back in time to change those decisions, but I can't. By 1997, I was a criminal with a record of convictions. This is my profession. I admit it with deep, deepest regret, but there is no other way to say it. It was how I lived my life. But God intervened to save me in a way I couldn't understand at the time. The police arrested me for robbery, and a criminal court convicted me. Given my criminal record, the judge sent me as a habitual offender. I received a 50 year sentence. I was now facing a lifetime behind bars. It seemed like a disaster. My life was over. Well, completely by a prison cell and gray walls, I fell into a deep depression. It wasn't simply being caught. A number of inmates are sorry about that. For me, it was the stark realization of guilt. I deserved the sins I received. I had to admit that. I had sacrificed my future, but this was not paid for the harm I caused both to others and to myself. I felt a growing guilt before God. His justice searched my heart more than any human court could. One night my resistance broke. In tears I remembered the gospel I knew as a child and asked Jesus Christ to take the sorry remains of my life. Forgive my rebellion. Cleanse my heart. He was true to his word. That night I received a new life in God's hand. My soul was renewed. Though my sins remain, I faced the next day with an expectant optimism that I had not believed possible. Not everything was easy. I had old habits, but I made connections with Beyond the Bridge, a Christian mentoring program. I attended meetings, began to clean up my life. Through BTP mentoring, my focus changed. I now saw the value of honesty and respect. Christ gave value and dignity to my life, even in prison. This I began reflecting to others and respecting and caring. I became a different person, one committed to service. Eventually, prison staff noticed the change. Moreover, I received a miracle. I was granted a parole. Today, I work with Beyond the Bridge Day as a member of the board. I serve other ex offenders, personal witnesses of how Christ touches, can change lives, even in the face of what appears to be hopelessness circumstances. Today, I live a redeemed life of new choices. Choices that reflect accountability, service, responsibility. Beyond the Bridges has been God's tool to teach me a new way of relating to others. Thank you, Jeff, for sharing your story. Now back to the BTB News Desk.